so apparently my dog has an identical twin that lives right across the street from us. Classic case of mistaken identity. That's a great story. Uh, oh, I have a great story too. Ooh, tell us. Yeah. So last week I went to the spaghetti pop-up ramen bar. I was there a little late and then there's huge line already around the block. But I saw my friend Tyson in line, so I cut in right behind him. And then this guy is all like, <laughs> Excuse me, you can't do that, that's so unfair. I've been waiting for two to three hours, like a big idiot, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that ain't my problem, dude. And I'm so glad I did because I got the last bowl of spaghetti ramen for the day, and it was so good. Oh, oh, you guys should go. So you cut in line in front of a bunch of people? Yeah, and the other guy doesn't sound like a monster you do. Why would you tell us a story when you're clearly the villain? What? No, I'm not the villain, I'm the protagonist. I'm telling the story. That doesn't automatically make you the good guy. What? I don't think you guys understood the story. Oh, I have a dog story, you guys like dogs? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, my neighbor never picks up his dog. Mm, he's gonna be the villain in this story, I can already tell. So one day, I was following him around while he was walking his dog, and I was secretly picking up his dog for him. You're a neighborhood hero! And then when he wasn't looking, I ran up to him and threw his dog right to his face. <laughs> and I ran away before he could see me. And he asked me about it later, and I said it was the kid down the street. <laughs> he called the cops on an eight-year-old. Oh. You are the villain in this story. You picked up dog with your bare hands and threw it at someone. And framed a child. Yeah, justice is served. We were on your side, but then you took it too far, mm -hmm. and now you're the in the story. Why would I be the on a narrative that I control. Good question. Oh. oh, it's Craig, my brother. He keeps asking me for money. That's so hard having a family member you can't help, you know? Hey, Craig. Yeah, no, I can't. I'm sorry, I don't have any money for you. Okay, um, I wish I could help. Okay, maybe I'll see you at Thanksgiving? Okay, all right. Do you need a hug? Yeah, come here, buddy. It must be so hard not being able to help your family. Yeah, it's just so unfair for him to keep asking me. <laughs> like, I need more than five years to pay him back, you know? Like, <laughs> Wait, your brother was asking you to pay him back? Yeah, and he's being such an about it. I keep telling him I spent all of his money on skydiving lessons, and I just need a couple more, and then I become an instructor. You fooled us again, and you are clearly the Pay your brother back. Oh, I'm sorry, I think you misheard. I spent all of his money on skydiving. Hey, it's Teo. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. For the low price of a small bag of catnip, you'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. To chat with us live on the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like Dimension 20. There are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs> sign up for your free trial today, unless you hate fun. Which if you do, come to my party on Saturday. It won't be fun at all.